Surveying can be defined as the art of determining the relative positions of a point on or below or above the Earth's surface by undergoing direct or indirect measurements of distance, elevation, and direction. Among various classifications of surveying in civil engineering, the two major classifications of surveying are 1. Plane surveying 2. Geodetic surveying For instance, there are two points A and B on the Earth's surface. While measuring the distance between A and B, the line AB can be considered as a straight line if we assume the Earth's surface is flat. But when we consider the curved surface of the Earth, the line AB is a curved line. So, when the surveying is performed by considering the curved survey line, following the spherical shape of the Earth, it is called geodetic surveying. But when we neglect this curvature, we consider all the survey lines as straight lines, and this is the plane surveying method. We have already made a video on the difference between plane and geodetic surveying, the link to which is given. This video discusses the key concept behind geodetic surveying in civil engineering applications. What is geodetic surveying? Geodetic surveying is a branch of surveying that involves measuring large areas accurately by taking into account the Earth's curvature. The spheroidal shape or curvature of the Earth called the oblate surface is considered in geodetic surveying. Geodetic surveying is commonly performed to establish control points for horizontal control in various surveying applications. The control points in surveying are the reference points with known coordinates that serve as a basis for mapping and measurements. These control points form the framework for positioning and aligning other survey points or features accurately or for performing other small surveys. It is used in many applications, including national mapping projects, infrastructure development, and satellite positioning systems. Features of Geodetic Survey 1. In a geodetic survey, all the lines lying on the curvature of the Earth form curved lines. 2. The plumb bob lines at each point intersect at Earth's center. 3. If three curved lines combine together to form a triangle, it forms a spherical triangle. 4. In a spherical triangle, unlike a plane triangle, where the sum of internal angles is equal to 180 degrees, the sum of interior angles of a spherical triangle will be 180 degrees plus epsilon, where is called spherical excess. Hence, the triangles formed in geodetic surveying are spherical triangles with arch sides. 5. A geodetic survey is considered when the area of the survey is greater than 250 meters square or 195.5 square kilometers. Key techniques in geodetic surveying. 1. Triangulation. This classic method involves creating a network of triangles to determine distances and angles between points. 2. Trilateration. Instead of measuring angles, trilateration focuses on measuring distances between points to determine their positions. 3. Leveling. This technique measures differences in elevation between points on the Earth's surface. 4. Global Navigation Satellite Systems. GNSS systems like GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo provide precise positioning data. 5. Astronomical Observations. By observing celestial bodies, surveyors can determine latitude, longitude, and azimuth. 6. Photogrammetry. This technique uses aerial or satellite images to create detailed maps and 3D models. 7. Remote Sensing. This involves collecting data from satellites or aircraft to monitor the Earth's surface. Real-world examples of geodetic surveying. Geodetic surveying plays a critical role in numerous large-scale projects. Here are a few examples. 1. Panama Canal Expansion Project. The expansion of the Panama Canal required precise alignment of the new locks. Geodetic surveying was instrumental in establishing a precise reference frame. This ensured that the new locks were aligned correctly with the existing canal. Monitoring ground movement and deformation, Geodetic surveys helped identify any potential stability issues or ground shifts during construction. Verifying the dimensions and alignment of the locks. Accurate measurements were essential to ensure the smooth operation of the expanded canal. 2. Hong Kong Juhai Macau Bridge. The construction of this massive sea bridge required meticulous planning and execution. Geodetic surveying played a crucial role in mapping the seabed. Detailed surveys were conducted to identify suitable locations for the bridge's foundations. Aligning the bridge sections, 
Precise measurements were essential to ensure that the different sections of the bridge were aligned correctly. Monitoring the structural integrity of the bridge, geodetic surveys help track any potential movement or deformation of the bridge structure. 3. Large Hadron Collider, LHC The LHC, the world's largest particle accelerator, required extremely precise alignment of its components. Geodetic surveying was used to align the accelerator tunnel, ensuring that the tunnel was perfectly aligned was critical for the success of the project. Position the magnets. The powerful magnets that guide particles around the LHC had to be precisely aligned to achieve the desired particle collisions. Monitor the stability of the structure. Geodetic surveys help track any potential movement or deformation of the accelerator tunnel and its components. These examples highlight the critical role of geodetic surveying in modern engineering and construction projects. Geodetic surveying is used when the area being surveyed is large, usually more than 250 square meters. It's also used when the desired accuracy and precision can't be achieved using ordinary or plain surveying. Follow for more civil engineering and construction videos.